Okay, Logan, and hi everybody from Fig Tree Kids out there watching this video for the next few weeks. We have got a new series. We have Fig Tree in Bloom. Fig Tree in Bloom. Fig Tree in Bloom. Fig Tree. They're those massive Bloom. big trees. Have you ever climbed a fig tree? Ah, uh, maybe when I was younger, but I can't remember. Probably not remember the fig tree. No, I I probably like maybe walked under one. All right, they're, they're big. massive. They are yeah. massive trees. So it makes me think about how the church is like a massive tree. Yeah. It is huge. It is pretty big. It is huge and it's all tapped into Jesus. Now we're going to start with a bit of a guessing game. We are. So we've got some fruit here and we want you to pick which tree do you think is going to produce this fruit. There's some pictures going to come up and you need to select the tree that goes with the fruit. I figure that they've probably picked that. The probably lemon made. goes with the lemon bush or the lemon tree. Would make sense. Lemon, lemon tree, lemon bush. That's lemon, right. Kind of adds together. I'll go anywhere, anywhere at all, as long as I'm with you. Call me to as long as I'm with you. As long as I'm with you. You're the adventure of a lifetime, Jesus. Take my heart and make it wild. You are the thrill my soul is seeking, Jesus. Your grace has no horizon line. Your grace has no horizon line.
tricky to get some coins mm. you can't actually put your card in here you will need <laughs> coins but if you want to do electronic giving please get in touch with us mm. so this money is going to go down to our partners in Jin Divine the um, the Jindy Church perfect Great. oh my goodness this box is so heavy and look how many there are far out what are we going to do oh. alright well Maybe I can look for someone to help me. Is there anyone around that can help? God, can you please send some more people to help? Oh, look, there's some people. Okay, guys, we just need to take these boxes. There's, there's a couple here. There's a box here and here, and then we're going to take it. We're going to take it down here. Oh, thank you so much for helping out. That's amazing. Just keep coming all the way through this door. Oh my dear, I'm using the laser. Anyway. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. You can get so much more done with helpers. Awesome job. How does the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it.
Hey everyone, it's Alyssa. Welcome to today's God Story. So have you ever gotten to receive or give amazing good news? Like maybe we're going to an amusement park or we're going on vacation or you got an A on a test that you thought you failed or maybe after wanting a puppy for years and years, your parents finally tell you we're getting a puppy. Good news is so fun to give and receive because it can be life-changing. And that's why being a disciple or a follower of Jesus is so exciting because we get to share his good news. And Jesus' good news is actually the best news ever. And that's why today's big idea is Jesus sends us to share the good news. When we read stories about Jesus' life, we see love in everything that he does. And we see why his news is good news. Through all of Jesus' life, he's sharing the good news of the kingdom of God. God is love, and Jesus came to show us God's love. Today's story is from Mark chapter 3, verse 7 to 19. Jesus went off to the Sea of Galilee with his disciples, and there was a large crowd there following him. They were curious about him. People were walking from hours and hours away to come see Jesus. Because of the crowd, Jesus told his disciples, disciples to get a small boat ready for him so that he could go a little bit out into the water so that people wouldn't crowd around him and that they could actually see him. While Jesus was there, he started healing lots and lots of people. And I should mention here that at that time, people didn't quite know who Jesus was yet. We get the benefit of thousands of years later seeing the big picture. But at that time, people just thought Jesus was this cool prophet with the ability to heal. While Jesus was healing the sick, there were some people in the crowd with evil spirits inside of them. And when they saw Jesus, they fell down in front of him and the evil spirit said, you are the son of God. Now, as strange as that sounds, the evil spirits actually knew who Jesus was. Jesus told those people not to tell others who he was. This was because if the news spread too fast, then he wouldn't be able to travel around and share the good news of the kingdom of God. After this, Jesus went up on a mountain and invited certain people to come up with him. Let's read what happened next. He appointed 12 of them so that they would be with him. He would also send them out to preach and he gave them authority to drive out demons. So Jesus appointed the 12 disciples. Simon was one of them. Jesus gave him the name Peter. There were also James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Jesus would nickname these brothers Sons of Thunder. There were also Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus. And there were Thaddeus and Simon the Zealot. Judas Iscariot was one of them too. He was the one who was later going to hand Jesus over to his enemies. Jesus wanted these 12 to be with him so that he could really invest in them, so that they could understand his heart and the heart of God, and so that they could go out and share the good news of Jesus. When they preached, they were preaching the good news of the kingdom of God. They were preaching everything that they had learned from Jesus. So if you think about it, we're here today following Jesus because those disciples shared the good news with someone else who shared it with someone else until eventually it got to us here today. And now it's our turn to share that good news with other people. And that brings me back to today's big idea. Jesus sends us to share the good news. And like I said before, that good news is the best news ever. It's that Jesus came to show us God's love, save us from sin, set up God's kingdom, and that means we can share in God's life together. That's amazing news and we get to pass it on. It has been so fun hanging out today and I will see you next time.
video with Jenny. Now what do we always do at the end of our time? We do alligator goodbye so get your arms ready to snap and say goodbye with the song playing next. See you later! Goodbye.